Hi everyone, this is John Kelly of 6 by 6 Design Website Services and I'm here to help you learn how to get a domain name and using GoDaddy to do so through my GoDaddy reseller store. And um, first thing, let's talk about what is a, a domain name. A domain name is the web address that we're going to use to point to your website. Now there are tricks to getting a good domain name and one of them being is uh, most people think that the shorter the better and that is true. Uh, helps people remember but keep in mind it's virtually impossible to get a, a short domain name uh, anymore so people generally type in sentences when they do a search so uh, it's not it's okay to have a long domain name it's not gonna hurt a thing so in fact it can actually help you because words that you put in your domain name can also help you for words that people search for to help find your website uh, a couple things here one is when you get a domain name my business name, for example, is 6 by 6 designllc uh, So I got 6 by 6 designcom It's my business name. That's not going to help me when it comes to searches unless somebody already knows who I am. So I did that for not for search engine optimization reasons. I did it just for branding my name. Okay, but again, if I was to make a website specifically where I want new people to come and find me, I wouldn't use 6 by 6 designcom I would use something like a web designer Rochester New York dot com or something like that. So here's the trick. The trick is simply this. Use a domain name with the words that contain what you do and where you do it. And that's going to help you with your search results. So for example, if I go to Google and I do a search for, um, in fact I have it right here, web designers in Rochester New York. So I know I could just hit search here and I'll put it in here so you can see that. Web designers in Rochester, New York. I do a search. This is going to bring up all search results from these keywords that I used. Okay, so it's not a bad idea to use words like this or even this entire search right here as your domain name with no spaces, of course. It's okay to use a hyphen in your, and that's a hyphen, the little dash. It's okay to use that in a domain name, but no, no uh, spaces. But when you do a search, the spaces don't matter. So when I search down the page here, you can see everything that's highlighted and bold, okay, or is bolded. You can see that there are words that were used. In fact, I even show up for the search. I come up uh, number nine on page one, which is a great thing. Uh, even though I'm not trying, I'm <laughs> not even trying for it, but I'm coming up anyway. And part of the reason is because I have those words on my website, uh, which is what we would do for you as well. And also, I have one of the words in my domain name so that's very helpful to me so alright so you figured out what kind of domain name you want to get so now let's try to you need to see if one's available well here's what you want to do you go to 6 by 6 designcom and on my home page what you want to do is find the GoDaddy link okay now I'm a GoDaddy reseller and when you do when you click on that it's not going to take you straight to GoDaddy.com it's going to take you to uh, 6 by 6 designs GoDaddy reseller store and all that simply means is I'm authorized to sell for GoDaddy okay and ultimately when you get it through me you get certain services that are available through me only and not with GoDaddy and one of those services is the fact you get a domain name through me and what's gonna happen is your domain name is automatically pointed the name servers are automatically pointed to the web hosting that I put your website up on. So if this is making your head spin, here's all this means. You buy the domain name and you're done. <laughs> you don't have to do anything else. If you buy your domain name elsewhere, even with just GoDaddy.com, uh, you're gonna have to provide me or someone else with your account number and your password so we can log in and point your domain name to the web servers. Whereas if you just do it with me, all that stuff is done. Okay. Now, if you wanna search for a domain name, very simple you can search for it right here or you can search right here in this yellow bar and uh, so let's say for my search my example I want to use um, web designer and Rochester dot com okay so I type it in no spaces I can use hyphens if I want but I'm not going to uh, I like to use all one word first okay and it's available in fact the green check mark comes up showing me that it's available and so if it did not come up or if it was not available somebody else already owns it it'll come up with a big red X here 
and then it'll show you down here what else other options are available. It'll show you other, over here uh, GoDaddy has done some little search keyword variation searches for you. It says here's some other ideas you may want to think of. Okay, so if I want to get just that domain name, then I go ahead and continue to register this name, get this name. Um, here's a little promo that's popping up right now. You can get three of them for a certain price, blah, blah, blah. But for right now, I'm just going to click no thanks, even though it's a, actually a pretty good deal. Um, so to continue to get my domain name, I'm going to need to create an account. So I put in my name, my last name, email address, and just fill out the form. When I click on next, the next thing it's going to ask me for <coughs> excuse me next thing it's going to ask me for is for how long do you want to register your domain name for you want to register for a minimum of five years you can register from year to year if you want it just means that every year the GoDaddy is going to charge your credit card um, for the renewal fee if you do it every five years it won't happen till every five years um, now there's usually a price break as well when you buy it for that long but the biggest reason why I want you to do that is is because search engines see the expiration date of your domain name and when they see that you're doing it from year to year they don't take you as serious as other websites because they know websites come and go so when you do it for five years or more they know you're serious and this is not a myth this is not a perception it is a fact okay so this is a search engine optimization technique that is used to let website uh, search engines know that you are in this for the long haul okay and they will take you more seriously can help your search results so go ahead and register for five years or more and then continue with the checkout process and uh, once you get your email confirmation you've owned your domain name now I automatically get an email as well uh, to letting me know about your domain name and then I can go ahead and put a website up for you so that's it so keep in mind the tips here are get a domain name for five years or more use words that describe what you do and where you do it because that's what people are going to type when they search for what it is that you do and where you do it they don't know who you are yet okay but we want them to find you so those words will help you and also register your business name too. see if you can get your business name as a web address and just hang on to it we can always point it to your your website later it's no big deal so if somebody actually does type that up here into the search bar we can have it so it's forwarded to your website no problem so if you have any questions just give me a call uh, or send me an email you can call me at 585-861-7483 uh, uh, or you can also email me john at 6x6design.com hope all is well and I wish you the best take care